Hi, this is Travanti from Techie GitHub Software Solutions working as a Boomi developer. Today, I would like to explain about Boomi Atom Cube. So, Boomi Atom Cube is one of the connectors provided in Boomi. Boomi Atom Cube is a connector in Boomi which helps to get and send messages to and from native integration Atom Message Cube. It supports point to point and publish subscribe messaging. Point to point in, in the sense one sender and one receiver will be there. Publish subscribe means one sender can send messages to multiple subscribers. Deploying a mass atom queue does not affect the licensing card in Boomi. To configure a connector, either to send or receive messages to or from the atom message queue, we need to set up two components, connection and operation. So, Atom Queue connection specifies the message queue for an Atom Queue operation. So, to, we have to specify a queue component in the connection part. The queue components are the reusable parts which can be used in other processes and other processing steps. Coming to the operation, operation defines the action that we need to perform on the queue. So, Boomi Atom Queue supports three types of action get, listen, and send. Get, get is used to Retrieve the messages from the message queue. Send is used to send the messages to the message queue. And listen is used for even retrieval of messages from the queue. So when configuring the get action, we need to specify the name, description, time of, minimum number of documents, and consume, consume from the dead letter queue. So time of is nothing but it sets the amount of the time in milliseconds that the operation will wait to receive the document. The default is 10,000 milliseconds. And the values 0 and minus 1 will be having special uh, meaning. So when it is configured as 0, uh, the operation will not wait and will receive only the documents in a single message if they, avail if they are available immediately. The and if it is set to minus 1, the operation will wait infinite amount of the time to receive the documents. And coming to consume from the dead letter queue. And when this option is selected, uh, it provides uh, like we can get the data from the dead letters. So what is dead letter? A dead letters are nothing but these are the messages which are not which cannot be delivered successfully to the subscriber due to variety of issues. So when we want to pull out those dead letters, we have to select this consume from dead letter queue, and this option will be available in point to point operation point to point queue type. Now let's see that configuration in Boomi platform. So I have already created um, a process wherein we are sending a simple message to the atom queue. Let me show you the, show the configuration that I've set in the message queue. So in the coming to the connection part, I, we have to configure the queue component. So this is the queue component which I have created. So we have to specify the queue name and the type of the queue. We have two types as I already told you, point to point and point subscribe. I'm selecting point to point here. Now, let me test this process with any of the local atom in your system. So this message, whatever message that we have sending, that is that have reached the Boomi atom queue. So let's see that, how it is reached. So in the manage tab, we have queue management. Uh, and in the queue management, we can see, just refresh it. So we have one message sent to that queue. This is the atom queue P2P that we have configured in our process. So we have one message which is residing in the queue, which is waiting for the queue to be. Okay, now. I have designed another process just to pull out the data, whatever data that I have sent to the atom queue, I'm pulling that data from the atom queue. So let's see the configuration here. So here action I have taken get, same connection which I have used for send option and in the operation, I have, uh, I have used the default uh, options. Let's try to pull the data from the atom queue.
Okay, let's see how it is. If you can see the messages are null here because we have already read the data. And in the process, let's see what the data we are getting from. So this is the message from Adam. So whatever message that I've sent in the previous process to the message queue, that is how that have been reached here. So in this way, we, have, we can set, get and send the data in the process. Thank you.